Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I'm sorry if the wind is messing with the camera a little bit. It's a little cloudy out here, as you can see. Uh, I'm trying to get over here by the garage where there's no wind. My neighbor brought a shed back from his other property on a trailer. I'd like to have that shed. It'd be a nice little shed put in the backyard. But you never know. I don't think he'll sell it. <laughs> and we really don't have room for it. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, somebody asked me, can they clean their dentures with bleach? Can they soak them in bleach? No. <laughs> the short answer is no, you can't. Oh, you can if you want your dentures to be discolored and stuff like that. There's a couple of things bleach does to dentures and partials. Number one, let me go back in the house because the wind's going to mess with the camera. Let me go back in here where it's not messing with the camera anymore. As you can see, the wind is blowing. Anyway, a uh, couple of reasons you can't use bleach. Now, I know there's been a lot of videos on YouTube of people saying, Oh, I just put a little bleach in my in my denture cleaning solution and it works great and it may you know it's a great idea to think that you know bleach kills all bacteria and viruses and everything else it's a great product to clean with the problem is over time and they've done lots of studies on this over time the bleach changes the pink on your dentures the pigments start to get discolored and start turning white. And the one thing you don't want to do is walk around with a dingy gray or dingy white denture. And number two, it actually will start to deteriorate the plastic in the teeth. Bleach is an oxidizer. It will oxidize the plastic in the teeth. And a lot of people that have used bleach in the past will end up breaking off a tooth because it oxidizes the plastic and eventually the tooth gets really weak and it'll just snap off. And that's one of the reasons people have broken teeth on their dentures other than the fact that the dentures are just cheaply made um, or they're old and eventually they break. But um, that's the one reason you don't want to use bleach. And secondly, if you have partials with metal clasps on them, you don't want to use bleach because even though the metal clasps are generally made out of silver, bleach is an oxidizer. It will oxidize that silver and weaken it and eventually they can, they can break. So don't use bleach on your dentures. And I know people will say, well, on the, on the whitening package, on the tooth whitening, the denture brightening packages and things like that, and the, and the, stain aways and all of those products you know in the denture whitening packages they say they have bleach in them it's a different kind of bleach you have to understand that there are several different kinds of bleach out there when i say don't use bleach i mean don't use chlorine bleach like you use in your laundry um there are plenty of different kinds of bleach out there that can be used on the dentures but they're specifically designed not to oxidize so if you're using a whitening tablet, that's fine. Those cleaning tablets, that type of bleach that's used in those cleaning tablets is designed specifically the right amount and everything else not to oxidize your dentures. You can't just use bleach like you use in your laundry. So that's what the question was asked. Can I just use bleach to clean my dentures? No, you can't. It's the wrong kind of bleach. So keep that in mind when you're cleaning your dentures, if they start to look a little dingy or, you know, I've had a lot of people say, I clean my dentures all the time. I soak them every night and my dentures are still dingy. And I talked about this before. I can soak my dentures all night long. In fact, I did for an entire week. I soaked my dentures, rinsed them in the morning and put them back in my mouth, but I never brushed them. And within a week, I had stains behind my teeth back here stains coffee stains because i never brushed them i just soaked them rinsed them and put them back in soaking kills the bacteria 
and it will dissolve the food particles and get them out of your teeth and stuff like that. But you still have to brush those dentures in order to keep them from getting stained up. No matter what they do, dentures are a porous material. They will collect stains if you're not brushing them and cleaning them properly. And But you don't want to use bleach. That's the one thing you don't want to use. Now I have in the past, and I still do today, put about, I don't honestly know how many, probably two or three tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide in my denture cleaning bath once a week because I believe that helps. Uh, I can't, I believe the hydrogen in there, the oxygen doesn't do anything. I mean, that's all it is, is two parts hydrogen, two parts oxygen. Instead of H2O, which is two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen, which is water. So what hydrogen peroxide is, is H2O2 which is two parts oxygen, two parts hydrogen, which is very corrosive. Uh, you don't want to drink it, that's for sure. But basically it's just toxic water. <laughs> I mean, H2O is water and H H2O2 is toxic water. Um, it's just got an extra oxygen, ox, oxygen molecule in it. That's a hard word to say, oxygen. It's just got an extra oxygen molecule in it. Wow. Um, so it makes it caustic. And I think it's the hydrogen with the cleaning tablet that helps to, you know, break up stains better. I think it. I think that helps. I don't have any proof of that, but I do feel like every time I do that once a week that my teeth are just, you know, back to their regular shade. Um... Uh, but that's just me. I may be up in the night. I don't have any verifiable proof. It's Maybe it's just a psychological thing. Maybe I just think it's doing something, so I've convinced myself that it works. But I know it's not damaging my dentures because I've been doing it for six years. My dentures are still beautiful. So I have no worries there whatsoever. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. It's... Um, it's a little chilly today. Remember, I make my videos in advance. So if you live in Utah and you're seeing this video and you're looking outside and you're going, the sun's shining bright. What are you talking about? It's chilly today. Just remember, I made this video a while ago. <laughs> I have to make my videos when I have time. And I have to get them up when I have time so that I don't miss putting up videos on a regular basis because that's something that I've always been very adamant about putting up videos on a regular basis. Anyway, if you're having struggles eating with your dentures and you want to learn how to eat correctly, there will be a link at the end of this video. It'll be a little circle with a beer bottle in it up in one of the corners, I, either up in the left corner or the right corner. I can't remember which one now because it's different on the computer than me standing here. So if you see that little circle pop up, click on that, go to my dentures versus food channel. It'll teach you how to eat correctly. Also, there's a subscribe button and a couple of playlists and videos that you might want to watch. So I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.